Hey everyone, today is June 2nd, 2023, and we're here to unclog a culvert once again. Road crews did a beautiful job. This is right where, where we are right now is maybe uh, four, maybe six miles deep from the main road. They've already done a beautiful job grading it, but I wonder how far they got. I know there's still going to be road damage. We were here two weeks ago, and there were certain areas that... Um, thankfully I'm not driving my old car anymore. You need at least a foot of clearance to get through some of the super erosion caused by clogged pipes. But we were here two weeks ago, we unclogged this culvert and had a pretty big blockage about here, maybe one third into it. We, un we undermined it quite a bunch, just throwing the debris further into the pipe. And once we got some flow, it pushed everything out. And that's what that big old mound right there is. But that won't interfere with its flow. Everything can still come out of here just fine. By the time we unplug this, this entire area right here is going to be underwater. And I'll be able to show you some cool before and after shots. First, I'm going to have to gear up. I'm not ready to go into a pipe yet. So, in this area... The past two years, they either trapped them or the beavers just gave up a little bit. Beaver problem hasn't been here for two entire years. The beavers have a much bigger swamp up there. I may even go as far as call it as a small lake. But when that pipe got clogged a few years ago, this whole road got pushed out and you can still see remnants of it right there. Yep. They build the roads like this on purpose. They don't put the pipe in the lowest spot because if it gets clogged they want the road to push out without the pipe it's a much easier repair than having to replace the pipe and who knows if you'll even be able to find the pipe depending on how far it takes it into the wilderness so all this nasty slime here that'll be gone probably by the time we're unclogging it'll all get sucked through most of what you're seeing is pollen and tree bits i see some beaver chew marks over on that tree they got a lot of supplies so this might be a regular unclogging this season until the trapper gets out here. I am going to report it once we're done in here. Wow, look at the amount of red ants. Oh my gosh, this is going to be miserable, possibly. There are red ants and those things sting really bad if they bite you. And they're going right, they're using the beaver dam as a bridge. Okay, good, they're not building in there, but I see them carrying things. Are those little bits, are those eggs that the ants are carrying? Yeah, I'm zooming in three times now. You see them walking back and forth carrying stuff? Oh wow, they're all over the ground up here too. These red ants do attack. So I'm hoping when I start ripping this apart, the ants don't attack me too bad. I don't mind getting stung a few times or bit, whatever you want to call it. Um... So look, the beaver dam is even bigger than last time. But on the bright side, I can stand right here <clears throat> with my big high boots. And a lot of the bigger debris we can pull out and throw up onto the side. The beavers won't reuse this stuff when they have plentiful new material. They don't like to reuse material because in their brain they, they feel it failed and they don't want to use it again. But if I took the sticks, they're waterlogged for the most part. If I threw them in here, they'd sink. Beavers would use them because it's convenient, but they wouldn't go up and get them. Yet last time the beaver dam was in the middle, so I'm a little happier that it's towards the end now. And I'm also happy that half of its diameter is taken. That means there's enough water pressure to push through whatever small debris that's in there. Yeah, these guys are ready to attack. I can see the stance they're making. All right, hope we don't get bit too much. A lot of these red ants all over the place. So we're going to go gear up. Then we'll get back in there. So, I think we're going to put camera number two somewhere. This whole area here is going to flood. There's like no traffic here. And if someone does go by, chances are they're just going to go by. And if they do stop, let's we'll tell them what we're doing. Um, so, I'm going to put one camera here facing down. And I'll be able to look at it the whole time. But I doubt anyone's going to steal it around here. And then, this time, if you remember last time... My trail camera was dead. I made sure it's fully charged. We're going to put it in there and we'll come back two weeks later. I won't post this video until those two weeks are up. Just because I don't trust people. And if someone by chance happens to know that spot. 
can see right here, look at this is all backed up to the road from that same beaver dam. Ooh, pretty fresh moose track right there and an older moose track there. I keep thinking it's a vehicle coming, but it's not. I hear thunder in the distance. There's supposed to be severe thunder and lightning storms tonight. Well, this afternoon, and they could start now, anytime. So let's get going. We don't want to be in the water during lightning. All right, everyone, we're all geared up. Camera number two is operating now. So let's go on over. Got the big high boots on, got bug spray on because the bugs were becoming annoying. But I think this place is about to get downpours very, very soon. I hear thunder in the distance. Wind is picking up. It's getting darker. So I'm just gonna set you guys up with the tripod right here. Let's see how far down we gotta go. Gotta adjust the leg as we put it into the mud. All right, you guys are nice and stable. When this mud's not here, it has a pretty solid bottom. All right, let's get going. Hopefully we don't have to work inside the pipe too much and hopefully these ants aren't jerks. Look at what the beaver put in here today. So for probably like 10 minutes, you're not gonna see anything on the other side. It's gonna take quite a bunch of time to get this open. Wow. And did I mention it's not very comfortable out? It's now 86 degrees, very high humidity, very sticky weather, not fun. So if you saw my short video, I saw this dam about four days ago, if that's how long that's been. We unclogged it couple weeks ago so this is brand new everything you're seeing that's fresh they eat the bark before they build dams now I'm gonna try pulling some of the slop back then we maybe we can let it pass afterwards Despite the dam being less than two weeks old, it's solid. And I think they're gonna build here again very fast. So that's why we're gonna try to put a trail camera here for like a week or two, then I'll be back. I'm gonna put it in time-lapse mode. That'd be very cool to see them building this. I'll set it up for it takes a little video clip like every 30 minutes, splice them all together. That'll be nice. Did the beaver stick this in there? At least the ants know not to come down here anymore. That I'm moving everything. And what is this? A piece of metal wire? Must have been an old beaver structure. These dams are always slow going like this, but the goal is to weaken it as much as possible before we open it with the hopes the current is really going to help us. And I'm pretty sure this is a secondary beaver pond, but this might be a whole new family of beavers compared to three years ago because I think they may have been trapped and that might be why there was no blockages here for years. Oh boy, here we go with the sticks. And this slop is very heavy, waterlogged. So that's why you see me going at it pretty slow. It is a workout. These are big dams. And guess what? This is how beavers operate. They're most active at night, so they're probably not even gonna see me doing this. 
they're gonna think natural causes made the dam fail. And what that means is they are gonna think in their head, we need to improve our dam. So a beaver builds a better, stronger dam every single time. Look at this, it's like a 10 foot piece. Ugh, it's too slippery to pull. It's like a game. Just keep pulling the loose pieces and that will loosen up the stuck ones. Ugh, I hate the crooked pieces of wood. They always get stuck against each other. Here we go. Oh, I'm starting to sweat a lot. This heat. Uh, there starts a little flow. You'll see a difference starting now on the other side. It's a big pond, so I don't have to worry about wasting helpful water that'll help us dig it later. It's best to work slow in the heat. Or I'm just going to tire myself out. Here we go. I hate when they pull back and they whip mud all over your face. I am dirty already. Thinking of thunder in the distance is vehicles rumbling down the road. If anything, we would just see workers today. No logging trucks yet. Road is too severely damaged from the winter. I want to get this thing completely open so we can put a camera in here. If we keep coming back and it's this bad every two weeks, that's when we got to report it because it's just not feasible doing this every couple weeks. Beaver needs to be moved. Oh, the sun just came out and that made things worse. It's so humid and stinky in this pipe. Once I get flow, I think I'm gonna get in there and just start kicking things through. If a guy with an excavator came out here, he would take a big log, just ram against it until it failed and just slipped right through with the water pressure. You guys should see a rise on the other side. I can see the other side. Water rising already.
Not even halfway yet. Just keep pulling out sticks until I can't reach anymore. Then we'll go in and push. Whoa, look how long this one is. Thankfully, most of these sticks are rigid enough. I could just pull them out like this. See that? Really hard, just jammed it through the tines. Look at that. They ate all the bark. We're almost ready to just bust the whole thing. Beautiful walking sticks in here, huh? That these beavers make. Here's a big one the rake can't pull. Oh, that one right there was a key pin to it. I'm just trying to, I'm almost completely open with half of it. Once we get that, I'll open full water into that half and then we can start letting things go through. Maybe we can start now, see how well we did. Just trying to build the right current in the right spots so we can start pushing everything now, which is too deep in there. I explain this almost every video, but letting things go downstream is not going to get to another pipe. I try to explain to people, but I, I don't think everyone understands how rural this is. Before this hits another road, there's dozens and dozens of miles of wilderness. It'll get stuck somewhere, probably in another beaver pond. I like that it's starting to pull itself apart by itself. I can't believe I didn't get bit by the ants. Alright, I don't think the current is going to be strong enough to pull the camera down. 
So I'm gonna move you guys so you can look right in here at me. Gotta adjust because this is a beaver dam foundation which is not very solid, it's pretty muddy on the surface. Now you guys can watch me on the inside. Zoom in just a little bit. Gotta make sure I go in the right way because this rake cannot turn around in there. I gotta come back out if I need to rearrange. Trying to get as much as possible out since this stuff has to pass all the way through. Got a whole tree stump. Oh, that's so that's really sore being in there. Looks like the whole dam's about to move. We weakened it enough. Go on, get out of here. The whole dam is moving, let's dig right here, get more current to push it. Good, the foundation wasn't as good as two weeks ago. Didn't have the time to settle and strengthen up. Open maximum flow now. I can easily push that, but I'm hoping enough junk builds to move it itself. Because all the mud and stuff I'm releasing is adding to that, like a sail in the wind. Until I dig down to the bottom of the pipe, it's not fully open yet. This stick is attached deep in the dam. Huh. Oh, the dam, I think, is starting to move. I hear sticks breaking from pressure. I might have to go in there now and push. Wow, the amount of stuff still on the ground. Just about open. I gotta push that pile of junk now so it's not building up. We need more pressure here on this end. If these beavers keep this up every week or every two like this, they certainly need to be relocated and we need to report them to the logging company responsible. And lately, the logging companies have been doing a great job with relocating. A lot of locations I report, you don't see a problem again for a few years. Wow, look at this. I gotta go in there and push. Hello, spider friends.
Move, move, move! There's not enough flow today. Oh my gosh. Must be over 100 degrees in this shallow culvert. The road is just so hot today. It's like an oven in there. There's not enough pressure. I have to get some of this out manually. I'm starting to see why I couldn't push it. One of the logs crossed and jammed against the corrugation. There we go. Now it's moving out. Come on. Culvert's all clear now. Hot out. Oh, I'm so out of breath from that now. That was like an oven being inside that. All right, we're back to do a little bit of cleanup. Just being in that culvert for a few minutes, stuck behind the clog. It is like an oven in there because it's not very deep in the ground and the road is conducting so much heat. It's like being at the beach because it's a sandy road. 100% gone. I just want to dig out some of the foundation here. Let me rearrange you guys so you can see what I'm doing right here. So there's a foundation here coming out, which is about eight inches currently above everything else. So that pile of debris at the other end needs to be moved at some point. That's from me and every excavator operator who's unclogged this in the past few years. The guys with the excavator should have got it out of there. Last week I couldn't believe the neglect I saw. An entire road washed out because of a clogged pipe. They rebuilt the road, but they didn't unclog the pipe.
job security, maybe, or the person doesn't understand why the road washed out. Just making a channel. Now, you might be asking, what's the point of doing this if the beavers could come back tonight and clog it up? The point is, before I started this, you could barely see anything flowing out the other side, meaning this pond doesn't have a lot of water supplying it. Doing a one-foot drawdown, unless you get severe rain, it's going to take weeks for this body of water to get back up where it was just 20 minutes ago. And that gives the road time, not having a risk of washing away. So this is all mud. We already dug out this channel. The current is also helping pull it apart. I think next time when we come out here, I'm gonna have to do it myself because we rely on water pressure to help tear this thing apart. The dam is just so big when they build it. So next time I come while the riverbed on the other side is dry, before we do an unclogging, because I'm assuming the beavers are gonna be back, before we do an unclogging, I wanna cut a big slice in that barrier of debris that the excavator operators and myself have caused by unclogging over the years. That way it won't be doing this. This water should be flowing through the pipe much better, but on the bright side, during a big severe rainstorm, the pipe can work to its capacity. It'll just blast over the debris at the plunge pool, and who knows, during a storm, hopefully that debris breaks. The beavers have had no attempt at reinforcing it to make it into a dam. So, I don't see any reason not to. So, last time I was here, if you guys saw, I broke my rake. Well, I had a broken rake. I just got this one, and this seems to be the most strong one I've ever used so far. Hopefully it lasts a while. Couldn't believe it. The last one lasted me almost a year, and I paid seven bucks for it on discount. But this is a very high quality garden rake now. Perfect for dam removal. All right, so throw the rake up to the road. I can't believe nobody actually drove through here. I have to actually, I'm splashing off my tripod legs because this yellow and orange pollen is sticking to it. Looks kind of cool. Look at it going through the pipe. So yeah, I'm going to get my trail camera now and we are going to program it to make like a five or 10 second video clip every 30 minutes. And hopefully with the beavers building, we'll have a good time lapse over a couple days of them building an even bigger dam than what was pulled out today. That dam was, I'd say, at least 20-30% bigger than it was two weeks ago. They build back stronger because they think the flow is what pushed it out. So we got a pretty big pile of debris out of there. We had a pile of debris from an unclogging two years ago, but the company in charge must have taken it away. I just hope the company involved sees this and comes and helps out with an excavator. That's a lot of junk down in there. But like I said, I will manually move most of that next time. Well, maybe I should do it now while we can have fun with the water. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to give you guys two angles because I still have camera number two going. All right. Yeah, we'll work on this just for a few minutes. We can improve that a bit. We did it last time. Bug spray is working good today.
see, I'm standing on land right now. That's a plunge pool that just can't be removed by the looks of it. Increasing current a lot, wow! Oh, all right. That was much better working in the shade than under the hot road. Look at that. Now I don't have to do it next time. Now we got so much current going through the pipe, lowering the water of the pond even lower. I mean, even faster. All right, we're gonna go grab a trail camera now and set it up on the ceiling with a magnetic tripod. Wow, that took me 35 minutes. Didn't even feel like it. Guess, it does, I guess time flies when you're having fun. I would have guessed like 20. Look at the current now. It's just sucking on into the pipe so fast that it's even tearing more of the beaver's foundation apart. All this pollen and stuff's getting sucked in. You see the wind is picking up. Severe thunderstorm coming soon. There's supposed to be torrential downpours. Maybe that'll make some blockages on some of the drainage ditch pipes. Maybe. Yeah, look at, you can even see debris getting blasted through. Good thing I made that channel like I just did. I'm so glad I didn't wait until I came back. Doing it wet is so much easier than doing it dry. And now that there's nothing there, all the little pieces, it's eroding. You see how dirty it is right there? It's still eroding the Beaver Dam Foundation, which is made out of small debris and mud. And it's not getting stuck like it would have, making it worse for next time. It's going right downstream now. Nice. And this debris is beneficial wherever it ends up. Creates little habitat pools all over the place that will probably stay around when it's much drier out. 
because this does dry up during the summer. This completely stops flowing to the point beavers can't do a single thing come summertime. Look at the amount of water beetles right there just fighting the current. Yeah, are you guys able to see any of the... Yeah, right there, see the water beetles? They keep getting close to this. But they're, they're like, it's fun to them. They get to about here, then they're like... Vroom, vroom. And there's also a jumping spider friend who hitched a ride on my tripod I'm holding. Let me see if I can get him onto my finger so I can show you. Here he is. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is, yeah. He jumped on my finger, then now he's letting himself down with the web. Jumping spider. Here he goes. Back up to my hand. Let's see. Get off on that rock. There we go. Yeah, we're tearing debris apart pretty fast. Maybe if I get in there with my feet, we can even tear it apart more. Because look at that. The rocky riverbed is starting to show. Yep. Just move around my big high boots. And this pond gets deep fast. It would get over my head really quick. Oh, I forgot to do one of my things. You guys must have been laughing at me the whole time. Yeah, my belt didn't break. You know, this belt, I love this orange belt. It goes with my orange stitched jeans that I got from my dad. And I thought that belt was going to be a piece of junk. It was only $5 on eBay and it just keeps lasting. I thought I was going to break that so fast. Yeah, we're good now. We're good. Most of these beaver swamps are created because of humans. The road acts like a natural dam and they have a free pond. All they have to do is clog the pipe up. But considering how deep the pond is, I think there used to be something here, at least. Unless this is where they excavated to build the road. But who knows? All right, everyone, so I'm in the truck right now, and these trail cameras, I love them. They're very reliable. I've been using them for years, but recently, they started having this quality control issue. You know what I might have to do? I might get, like, a hot soldering gun and melt out these two battery separators because the batteries are so tight that I just had to go and push these over to touch that terminal to get it to turn on. You know what I mean? But we have a full battery this time. Oh. Look, see, it keeps restarting because the battery is barely, barely touching. I need to figure that out before we put it in the pipe. All right, we got it working. It doesn't appear to be doing that problem right now. So, a penny worked way better from sliding them over. Now we're going to go set this thing up inside of the culvert, hoping to get some beaver footage. Hopefully they build the dam right at the end right here. Historically, that's where they build it. Last time was unusual that it was in a little bit. But we're going to put the camera in a little bit facing out. I'll shut it off. And I'll just look at the screen to make sure it's getting. So I have a program now to make a 10 second video every 30 minutes. And we'll leave it out here for about a week and come back and get it. Lots of mosquitoes in here. All right, so we want to put it on the ceiling just about here. Maybe that'll be better to straighten it out. But it look, its angle looks pretty good. I just want to see what it sees first. All right, so this is where it's going to be. About 20 feet in, I determined to be pretty good because if they build the same dam, big and thick like that, we'll see the beavers walking over it, maybe patting it down. But keep in mind, this is not motion triggered anymore. It is going to make a 30 second clip no matter what. Is that the way to is that the way we should go with this or should it be time lapse? 
I mean, it should it be motion? Maybe honestly, it should be motion. Maybe it should be, honestly. I gotta think about this. I just don't want the current of the water to keep setting it off. Although this pond is gonna drop pretty fast. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna leave it on motion. Before they show up whenever, you'll get to see every 30 minutes how much progress this has made with flow reduction. Yeah, we'll leave it the way it is. If I don't like the way it turns out, chances are we'll get to do it here again. Good amount of flow. How fast do you think that's flowing? thousand gallons every minute or two, maybe. Anyways, until next time when we come to get this footage, I hope today's video was interesting. This will be put in a separate video, just the beaver footage if it comes out nice, coming up in a couple days after this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Grab a nice, fresh Gatorade for the ride back. I hear a frog outside. Yeah, I do. Gotta get this heat out. Time to get up onto the road. My door's open. <laughs> you see down there to the right? That's the old beaver deceiver that the logging company tried a few years ago to try to stop them from clogging it up. Oh, boom, it just ran over a tree. That's why I made sure I got every skid plate I could for the truck. Because sometimes on these roads, Bottoming out and running over little trees is inevitable. We are making quite the dust storm behind us today. Yeah, you guys see there's a couple bumps in the road now because I said at the beginning of the video they really fixed it road is very smooth compared to two weeks ago but let's see how far they got because they definitely didn't complete the whole work yet it's been in horrible condition like this for dozens of miles I don't think they got to it all yet let's see if we can find any of the really bad stuff I was showing you not too long ago all right they did not fix this far look at the erosion to my right that's like a two foot just sudden drop right there into the drainage ditch Look right here to the right, so much erosion to that ditch, and you could tell water was passing over here a ton. Didn't wash out too much because the road is very rocky, but you see the drainage ditch could not handle the flow over the spring thaw. Wow, look at this one. Yeah, we saw this like a week ago, but I didn't know we came across it so fast. This squeeze here is kind of scary. To my left, I could fall down in the river ditch. There's barely any room to fit through here. If I slipped, I'd probably get stuck because that's like a two foot drop right there. Look at this one. That's like over two feet deep. I don't know if you can see depth on the camera, but that would be a horrible one to fall into. Here's another one. Wow, this has a really big dip to it. Actually, it seems like a little bit smooth out since last time we came. We're not marking any of these ones because the whole road is like this. You should already be on the lookout if you got to this point of the road. A couple of these are, are pretty scary to get over, so is this one of them? It seems like people driving it over has made them a little smoother. Yeah, this one's not that bad, but there was one that was kind of scary to go over last time. It'll definitely stop tourists from coming up here for a while until they fix it. Here's a bunch of erosion, but we can easily just go around it. This is a bunch of bumps. When I come up to this stuff, I gotta start slowing down a little brief.
reefer because the dust I'm stirring up keeps catching up with me and coming in the windows. I like having the windows open until someone about to go by me. Gotta shut them. Look at this. Just gone. The road. Just don't go near the edge of that because that's unstable if you're within a foot or two from that. Wow, I just heard a big rumble of thunder getting out. Maybe you guys will hear it again. I think this one I am going to mark, even though they're going to be replacing the road. I just want them to know that there's an issue with this pipe. Because you see right there, that joint has obviously came apart or the bottom of the pipe is rusted out. That's why this sank. No erosion there or there. It did not get washed out. And you see how it's following the pipe? It makes me think the bottom of the pipe might be completely gone. Is that another sinkhole right underneath what I just drove on? There's no one around. I doubt anyone's going to come. So I'm just going to bend down right here. Let's put the camera in here. Yep, look at that hollow underneath what I just drove over. And I showed last time we came out, somebody took a bunch of rocks to fill these holes. That even sunk. So I am going to take a bunch of bigger rocks, wrap them in tape, put them around this, and I want to throw one down next to that joint. This pipe needs to be replaced. Hopefully the inspection guys know that because sometimes they don't replace ones that really, really need it. Here's the water coming in. Nice little spot. Oh, wow. Yep, the entire bottom of the pipe is gone. That's where our soil went. Bottom of the pipe is gone. Completely destroyed, wow. So much damage in there. All righty. Marked pretty well. Forgot my door again. It takes more strength to shut this door. That's why I keep doing that. I gotta show you guys something. First, this may have been the biggest area underwater that I've ever witnessed. I wish I was here while it was actually happening. See how the road is so rocky? All the dirt was taken into the woods. I can tell this whole area during the spring thaw was underwater. They usually build roads like this on purpose. The culvert pipe is a little bit higher than this area because this is where they want it to wash out. Look at all the sediment here. There's little things wrapped around trees, tons of flow coming through here. But by the erosion evidence, there's no way the pipe could have possibly handled that in the first place. I believe there's a lot of pipes here. I haven't actually stopped this one in a couple of years, but I see there's a lot of debris that they got out with excavators not too long ago. Got this big pile of debris that the guys were able to get out. Look at that. Imagine how big the beaver must be that put these logs here. Well, this is the only one, the evidence of them cutting. No, this likely came from a beaver swamp somewhere else. Beavers didn't do it here. Very recent the excavators were here. That was one tiny excavator. Yep, look at all this debris they pulled out of the pipes. So it looks like there are two six or eight foot pipes. And I bet when they installed them, it was coming in here. Over the years, it keeps digging around this corner more and more. So you can see where, when these things were plugged up, most likely completely plugged up, 
the water speeding around this corner because these were plugged it just jumped right there and crossed the road where i just showed you someone was down here maybe having fun at the beach or just looking in the pipe it's probably the excavator guy honestly i see a couple footprints down there and i can see where the excavator went around it was a pretty small machine Not looking too bad. I want to take a walk down there because I want to see if there's any erosion around the edges of the pipe. Wow, look at all the debris that the guys let pass through. Look at that. That is from when they unplugged it. It just went like we did at the beginning of this video. But these are substantial things that you wouldn't be able to get out with without machinery unless you had a winch or a come along. You just do one at a time. But that's not the way to do something like this. You'd be here days on end. Yep, this was excavated very recently. Looks like someone with street sneakers or sandals came down here. Okay, so this is not beavers it doesn't look like. It looks like just debris that got stuck, and they're probably hoping the same thing I usually hope. It's a, it is a corrugated pipe, but because it's not hung up on the edge, the next big blast should just take this downstream. So, they are six-foot pipes, but they are crushed a little on the bottom by design. Yep, I don't see a problem. Wow, this water's so refreshing and cold. I think I'm actually going to get down inside here. Well, not like get soaked. I just want to put it all over my face and arms. This is so nice and cold on a hot, humid day. We have a friend over there on that rack. Right there. That's a pretty big, about two inch long fishing spider. Fishing spiders eat aquatic insects and stuff. Wow, this, this river during the spring thaw and storms is so violent, eroding. Look at this. The pole pipe is super shiny just wearing down the galvanization wearing away any rust it's like a sandblaster every time this thing runs and this pipe is very uneven it they put it down on a rock or it's settled on a rock i bet wow this is like the best example i've ever seen look how shiny this pipe is it's been getting a sandblasting every time look look at there's little dents you see there's like deep dents and pitting everywhere. Some substantial rocks must have been rolling through here that literally denting the metal. Wow. You heard that? Something just moved behind that wall. My weight should not have been able to flex whatever that was. Cool, glad I stopped. They just graded this section of road, so they're gonna go down there where that washout is pretty soon. This road is so uh, loose because they just graded it. There's, I don't think, yeah, there's like one set of tire tracks it looks like. And it doesn't look like a vehicle, it looks like ATV. Or maybe it's the device the guy's pulling. It's not a vehicle. Oh, that's a pretty big rock in the road over there. I am making the biggest dust storm right now with all this loose, sandy soil. Thankfully, it's supposed to rain soon. There's already a couple drops happening right now. So I was the first one to drive down this road since it was graded. That's what made the narrow tire tracks. The wheelbase of that little trailer. It's like a big rake. It's supposed to only leave the smaller rocks in the road, but push the big ones off into the ditch. Hey everyone. It's a pretty warm day. Very humid. It's been sprinkling on and off. Just checking out some high water levels before the big storms come through. 
Got a culvert pipe right here. Not much flow. The water seems pretty high on this side. Could mean a possible blockage. Um, maybe not. That grass seems like it's a little bit. You can hear some thunder maybe. Definitely some debris here, but not holding it up. Some of this debris is so fresh, they literally just graded the road today a little bit. I honestly think this pipe probably has a internal blockage or maybe is becoming partially collapsed. Now what I'm seeing, there's a little garden spider. Ooh, multiple garden spiders. I just want to get inside the pipe. Might have to destroy some of their nest. All right. So it doesn't appear to be rusted out, but maybe a frost heave caused it. Right around the center of the pipe, in the middle, it's kind of pushed up. Like a frost heave could have done that. And that's what's causing the extra water to build up. Stopping at another location. Only uh, about a minute drive down the road. I hear a bullfrog. Oh good, I thought that may have been the culvert pushed in by the grater. No, here it is, now I see it. So it looks like a three foot pipe. Water looks a little elevated, just wanna check it out. That's why it's elevated. The beavers have built a semi dam around the pipe. And now this is a beaver deceiver unit. And it seems to be, f whoa, scared me. The beaver deceiver unit seems to be working. Usually beavers outsmart these things after a few months or a year. So this thing has water coming in through the bottom. There's a series of holes on the bottom that the water comes up through and joins and then goes through. Yes, as much water as this three foot pipe, you're never gonna get that capacity again, but this thing sure helps in places that don't flood a ton. Keeps the water level down for quite a while. There's really no evidence of chew marks or anything. Whatever beavers may have been here, may have been hunted or relocated. All right, everybody, it's been almost three hours. We're pulling back up. We got a few roars of thunder, but just sprinkling. It hasn't started pouring yet, but it's a bull stew. I just want to see how much this water has slowed down in flow since we were here three hours ago. We made a dust storm and the sky is a lot darker than it was before. See, it's pretty dark. And this side's clear sky. Definitely flowing a little bit less. I'm now noticing the water is now crystal clear. No more sediment, it's no longer eroding anything. Going pretty well. Over on the other side, sitting in the sunshine, our pile has dried out quite a bunch. Yep, no more erosion, flowing a lot less. This should be flowing so little by sundown that the beavers should just start coming right on over. If you guys saw that video like a month ago where we um, put a camera in, the beaver multiple times throughout the entire night kept trying to build a dam, then it just kept pushing out over and over again. Look at the edge. The water was up to here. We dropped over a foot. Look at all the debris on the edges. We dropped a lot. Ooh, there's one of those leeches I was talking about, one of the northern bloodsuckers down there. See him? That's a fairly small one. Some of them can get up over eight inches long. Here's what it looked like three hours ago. And now, here's what it looks like. Pretty big difference. We'll be back in like a week or so to pick up our camera. Hopefully it in time-lapse mode will do pretty well. Get to see this water reducing, slowing down, and hopefully a beaver dam building back up, water filling back up. Because right now, see that grass? That grass did not grow underwater. Another foot of loss about to the bottom of that pipe is where the water's supposed to be. Look at that dust storm we just caused. 
Visibility is a lot worse in real life. The camera can see through it to a degree. All right, everyone, it just started raining more. There's a little bit of damage down there from the water crossing, but right now we're gonna go for a little walk about 200 feet up here. And as we're walking, I'm gonna show you what's going on. You can see there was such an amount of current coming through here, the drainage ditch couldn't handle it. I can see a bunch of little tree stumps in the drainage ditch because last year they did trimming along the side of the road and they left all the debris from trimming, which did not help them at all. A lot of it got pulled over into culverts, clogging them, and it caused a lot of the waterways to go over the road causing this. But I think this drainage ditch just wasn't deep enough to handle it in the first place. But like I just said, against the little stumps, look at all the debris from their trimming equipment. It gets stuck in these little dams forcing it out into the road causing more and more erosion this was a big crossing area look at all the sediment over here into the woods it was able to push some pretty big rocks that look like they may have been on the edge of the road Ooh, it's starting to rain even more but i wanted to take a walk up here walk this whole washed out area here we have a culvert pipe we're not going to unclog it because they obviously have to do tons of road work here yeah, and I wouldn't want to unclog this one anyways. I'd spend an hour just opening it up, and you know what's going to happen? The water will easily just erode that right back. It's pointless without heavy machinery. This whole thing needs to be dredged out. Just look at this. Big old river here was coming down here. Just imagine the amount of water that must have been coming down on that day. Wish I was here. It doesn't look like anything that would have made the road soft considering how rocky it is. Maybe the surface, but I don't think it's anything we would have got stuck in. But this happened in a couple months ago during the biggest part of the spring thaw. But I want to see the riverbed that it originated from and see how badly that culvert is plugged up. Now, because of how much water there is, first off the bat I'm going to say it's most likely undersized, but I also expect to find it plugged by all their tree debris that they didn't pick up after trimming. Look at this, got about just over a foot of drop, maybe close to two feet in this spot. Lots of erosion, I can tell some of it was coming right out of the woods there, going right over the embankment, because. At the end of a drainage ditch, they have a wall forcing it in the pipe every couple hundred feet. This pipe is not that big. And it looks like all this water originated from the stream bed and that ditch. There's no way that size pipe could handle what you see here. It's inevitable. It would have happened regardless if it was clogged or not. And this much storm debris would have probably plugged it regardless also. I'm amazed that it's not completely plugged. I truly am. It's got a little bit of a blockage, but they should get all this with excavators. And if they don't, we will unclog this come summertime. Mosquitoes are starting to get bad. Mosquitoes love this rainy, hot, humid weather. It's very oppressive out. You hear all that thunder? Suddenly getting stormy out. Hopefully the downpours are coming soon. That'll be exciting. And um, on the bright side, this rain will help clean the truck off and no more dusty roads. That's the bright side. But I'll probably have to use the, the power washer tomorrow. There'll be mud caked on inches deep on the undercarriage.
glad that it started pouring out. Now I don't have to wash the truck when I get home. I bet everything on the undercarriage will be removed just by the wheels spraying it up. I gotta actually keep my speed down. Easy to hydroplane, there's so much water. Check out how beautiful and full this road is of leaves. The trees are so dense, it's like a tunnel. I love this road. 